Generational leader, a man who does not have co equal here generation in terms of politics. One shot for the man. That man is no other person as but the chairperson of the Trampata sections of the Revolutionary National Youth League of the Demi Tobamara Coalition for Democratic Change. So, Manda! The chairman of the Champata sections of the Revolutionary National Youth League of the Indemnitable Mighty Coalition for Democratic Change. So, Comrade Chair President, you have our distinct and revolutionary honor. We also like to recognize you, our partisans, whom and abroad. We admire resilience, we admire your courage, we admire your gallantry, and your revolutionary fraternal feelings. Toward the democratic forward march mobility of the indemnitable Mali coalition for democratic change. So, oh. and so, not to forget, <laughs> but to tactically <laughs> keep the separateness of this particular female revolutionary. <laughs> As a matter of fact, he handles the gavel of the Ubli whenever the chairperson of the Ubli isn't. We run the political circumference and parameter of the indemnitable Mali coalition for democratic change. So, she remains a revolutionary by excellence and the most influential female politician in the history of electoral district number 10. As a matter of fact, anytime soon she will be coronated mm. at the Agilum and Arrondissement mm. of the hierarchical or leadership infrastructure mm. of the people in that tradition of the most world country. She is the vast year, a vast commissar. For the administration of the Revolutionary National Youth League yeah. of the Indemnitable Mali Coalition for Democratic Change. So, comrade, where you, 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 they come in. Now, comrades and friends, that is part of our tradition. Make no mistake. And we owe you no apology to observe the rituals, the traditional rituals. It is part of the historical and cultural revolutionary orientation of the Indemnitable Mali Coalition for Democratic Change. So, that's why it is so unique to this party that we recognize people who salute them on the basis of their services. Especially men who are in active service in the party history and the advancement of the popular people's struggle. Now, comrades and friends and members of the folk estates, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, we as Coalition for Democratic Change and members of the Coalition for Democratic Change, we take every event, circumstance, and every given activity. In the history of this party, very serious. That's why, if you look at the party's history in the nessus, in the nessus of time and place, you're going to realize that chronologically, this party has been able to catalog activities 
events and circumstances that culminate into the historical typology of the indemnitable Mali coalition for democratic change. So, that one makes the party very, very unique. In the history of this institution, the party has never been there on celebrating major events, major dates, major activities, and major kalana or events that has to do with the historicity of the institution. And that's why I'm being very cognizant about the, the Gregorian calendar and the tenth month in the Gregorian calendar. For those of you students of history, before the Gregorian, Gregorian calendar, there was the, the, Julian, the Julian calendar. As a matter of fact, in for the 6th BC, for the birth of Christ, Julius Caesar, Gaza Julius Caesar, who was the Roman Emperor by then, organized the, the Julian calendar to determine the celebration and the activities of our years and months, etc. So, but the, the Julian, Julian calendar has a switch and metamorphosed into what we refer to as the, the Gregorian calendar, <laughs> yeah, which yeah, yeah, yeah. is in 1582 BC. Hmm. And in 1582 BC, it will enthuse you when Pope Gabriel, the, the, the 13th, organized such a calendar. He was very unique about a particular month in the history of the Gregorian calendar. And that particular month in history is the month of October. And why, are we, why are we giving you the historic sentence about the month of October and how? What what's significance? And, man, and how magnificent this particular month is in the history of the Gregorian calendar. So the Gregorian calendar puts the month of October to be, to be the tenth month in the month of October in, 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 in a year period. So given the history of the Gregorian calendar, that particular October month is strategically a very historic month. And that's why we are about to tell you. That's why we are about to give, I mean, put more emphasis on. That's why we're going to give you the significance, the importance of the month of October in the history, the formation, the establishment, the revolutionary, and the political organizational structure of the indemnitable Mali coalition for democratic change. So, so in the month of October, that came the man from the East. In the month of October, that kid, a man was born on the 1st of October, 1966. For those of you who know that man from Gibraltar, for those of you who know that man from, from the slums and ghettos of Clarton, for those of you who know that man from the, the shackles of West Point, the destitute communities of, of Logan Time, this man who rose from the trenches and the battles of economic deprivation. We're talking about this man who continues to be the example mm. of why we must always struggle and struggle. We're talking about this man who, whose source of inspiration is reflective of our collective suffering and struggle. Sure. And so the month of October 1st, 1966, he was born. He was born, he cherished, and conceived a revolutionary movement called the Indemnitable Mali Congress for Democratic Change. That I met my force in the indemnitable Mali coalition for democratic change. So, oh. but interesting to know that there were several men and women who were also born because that's how you catalog and just oppose the role of great people. So, yeah, yeah. It's so it's to be a great man, you must know who I was born in a particular moment and how you are associated with greatness. So, in Africa. In the month, in the month of October, people like Oliver Regina Tambo were also born in the month of October with that great man. In the month of October, the, the former wife of Samura Moses Michel of Mozambique, Samura Moses Michel of Mozambique, Rachel Michel, who led the Mozambique to independent Nazis on the 6th, under the banner of the Frilimbo, the Freedom for Liberation Movement of Mozambique Independence. Leba, 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 Advando Bolan and Samura Moses Michel. The, the, wife, the former wife of Advando uh, Samura Moses Michel is Rachel Michel. She was born in the month of October. 
They were introducing the North Congress. Now, Abatina Susuru. Abatina Susuru in the South African history of the Women Congress was the wife of the, the late Wata Susuru, one of the founding fathers of the African National Congress. We're talking about black people born in the month of October. So Abatina Susuru was also in the month of October. You cannot discourse the month of October by one needing the Archbishop Desmond Tutu. Great men were born in the month of October. Oh. Today, in history, and Bishop Desmond Tutu, the man who challenged the, the ecclesiastical orthodoxy of apartheid system in South Africa and led the debate using liberation theology. Desmond Tutu was also born in the month of October. Oh. But that's not unique to African leaders alone. Even globally, there were men. The second president of the United States of America, John Quincy Adam, was born in the month of October. No! 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 Dwight Easton, David Howard was also mm. born in the month of October. Man, no. I don't need to tell you about Bill Gates. Mm. I don't need to tell you about Jimmy Carter. Mm. Mm. I don't need to tell you about Jimmy Carter, who was also born in the month of October. No. I don't need to tell you the 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 the, 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 the of the remind you of the last of Mahatma Gandhi. Mm. The first prime minister of India was also born in the month of October. So, so to be born in the month of October. <laughs> It's not an easy history in our party. The lands of Theresa May, the lands of the Prime Minister of David Kimmer. Amanda, the lands of Amanda, 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 yo, you are welcome, yo, yo. So when uh, when the name October is announced, when the month October is announced, it's announced with goodness. That's how we cherish. The month yes. of October, because it carries the history of great presidents around the world, great people around the world who have made change in our world today. And President George Manawiya, so. the Excellency, funding fellow figure of the Indemnity of Mali Coalition for Democratic Change, so. is associated. But I'm not a speaker here. I will now move forward. I'm not a speaker. I'm not a speaker. Because the panel of the information, the crust, the, the meat of the disco. That's why the CDC is bigger than any, the UVL is bigger than what you see over there. In fact, no political party in the history of this country has UVL. Follow than the UVL of the Indemnity of the Coalition for Democracy. And so that is the normal tradition, Congress. Don't complain about that. Uh, that is normal tradition. Mm. Don't find no political institution. It's a video of the youth level of the Demitable Mali Coalition for Democratic Change. So, so it's a video of the institution. Come here, understand the party tradition and principle. So I'm not a guest speaker and I'm not a official conveyor of the itinerary mm -hmm. and the official position of the youth league in the context of what's unfolding. And why should we fall moving forward? Mm -hmm. I just try to give you a panoramic synopsis <laughs> <laughs> about what is in the itinerary in the former marriage of the institution. So, Amanda! Yes. So now we'll invoke the marvelous height of the, the vice commissar for administration of the Revolutionary National Youth League of the Endemic Tobo Mali Coalition for Democratic Change. So, she will briefly give you a little brief perspective. And after that, you hear from the man who will articulate the official position of the youth league in terms of this particular essence of our occasion. Again, the bad job comrades and friends, but let me now to, to zoom in the vice commissar for administration of the revolutionary national youth league of the Indemnity of Mali Coalition for Democracy. So, in present, our comrade Adelaide Josephine. David, come to David, you have a revolutionary distinct honor. Thank you ever so much, Comrade Wiesel. 
we want to say that the month of October is quite near and is going to give breath. Mm. Mm. To a son who came from Gibraltar. There's some who have cut across the political subdivision of our country. Sound. His Excellency President George Mann in Fakwikon, Dade Zebozi Wea. We will celebrate our leaders who no one explanation because this man, his history is unexplainable. So, comrades and friends, not to bore you. We will turn the pendulum over to the man who crosses the T and dot the R of the Revolutionary National Youth League, Agostino Nito. Nito Agostino, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Thank you very much to the Vice Chair for Administration of the Revolutionary National Youth League of the Indemnitable Mighty Coalition of Democratic Church. So, Comrades, distinguished member of the Folk Estate, mm -hmm. Commissar, Adi Lords, Paratroopers, men and women of immeasurable uprightness, mm -hmm. sympathizers and well wishers, followers, fanatics. Mm -hmm. Unapologetic defender of the indemnitable ruling coalition for democratic change. So, oh. oh. men and women of Africa in the liberation movement, sons and daughters of the peace century class, reminiscing the poor people of West Point. Lokington, Nikutan, West hey! Pijo Garage, across the 15 political subdivision of our country. Mm -hmm. Sons and daughters of undying courage mm -hmm. and maximum standard of the people's revolution. We bring you greetings. From Liberia's biggest revolutionary youth league chairperson, former revolutionary ideologue, Chairman Jefferson Tamakoji. So, let me remind you all, comrades, that the CDC, the Coalition for Democratic Change, still remains Liberia's only liberation movement. So, the CDC, it is the only. I repeat, the CDC is the only transformative institution that is changing lives in the slums and ghetto of West Point and Nikuta. Mm -hmm. On the top hills of Wologizi, mm -hmm. in the lower boundary of Grandjire, of Bon, of Nima. Fellow comrades, we want to keep reminding you that this institution, the Revolutionary National Youth League of the Indemnitable Matter Coalition for Democratic Change, so, remains the only ideological pillow to the pages of history and the historical foundation of the Republic of Liberia. This is the Youth League that throw a reflection on Comrade Compatriot Gabriel Bacchus Matthew. This is the youth league that has ideological direction that is reminded by compatriots, men and women who fought for multi party democracy of this country. It will mean the youth league. And the CDC at large that will transform this country from backwardness to progressivism. 
So, under the leadership of His Excellency Dr. George Manuia, so, President of the Republic of Liberia, there are ecclesiastical and astronomical growth of our country. What we have seen under the leadership of His Excellency Dr. George Manuia, we have not seen it through the history and the sugar limelight of this republic. The Coalition for Democratic Change, Revolutionary National Youth League, in colossal observance of the 56th birth anniversary of the men of the people, the first of the slum child, His Excellency Dr. George Manu, we are President of the Republic of Liberia. So, who is a person who many at home and abroad have looked up to for inspiration, an educator, and a compass and sense of nationalism. A man who has sacrificed his all for the betterment of this country, dating as far back as our dark days, transitioning from the refugee camp, from the refugee camp, from one sex of Budumbura to another. And personally assisting Liberians around Europe and the United States of America. And above all, redirecting his resources back home to help in bringing peace and stability to our country. So, if one president who have lived his life for Liberia and Liberian since his birth. Since his birth. Doing everything in his power and his way and might to make the motherland great. It will be you, say was he money. For the hit of racism in Europe. Back then, to the sound of guns and bullets in the Republic of Liberia, from a we are, didn't neglect his identity or his home. He has always prided himself as an African first and as a Liberian, reminiscing the history and Pan Africanism of the black power salute and struggle for the African dignity. An attribute that has distinguished him from the many power seekers in our country. We are so grateful to God for this dominant and extraordinary figure, a father, an educator, a leader of the excellent as in plot a new age, the Revolutionary National Youth League seizes this moment to inform our partisans where we shall sympathize us that the following activities will be observed as a sign of gratitude to the most singular figure who have served our country with unprecedented transformation. Unprecedented transformation. Distinguished member of the press Men and women, whom and abroad. Revolutionary fanatics, stalwarts of Liberia, UNED Liberation Movement, the Indemitable Coalition for Democratic Change. So, we will not just ex experience to the pages of history of October, but we will begin our rendezvous before October. On September 27, the Revolutionary Youth League will knock boots with the National Executive Committee of our party in the South of January, signifying and reminiscing on the days of our, of our leader, Comrade Compatriot, His Excellency, Dr. George Manawi. Oh. 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 Oh.
Congress power. You better watch all. You better watch all opposition. Yeah. I said, come where you yeah, to represent us. On the sea, October 27, 2022. The academy make the challenge quizzing tournament with kickstart as well with the participation of the 17 electoral district of Mosserado County. So both matches will end on the 28th. What academic tournament? Comrades and friends, distinguished member of the folk estate, we want to inform you. As you have always or have already been told, the Liberia is on a progressive path to unprecedented transformation. Education, which remains the bell of national growth and development, has been the sole and paramount interest of His Excellency Dr. George Manawiya. So, so we will have present tournament. To remind you that we still have hope, we still have, we still take pride during our days in academia. And through our quizzical line, we'll let you know that even in Europe and America, there's, there's this nomenclature called STEAM. Science. Technology, engineering, mathematics, medicine. The Americans and the international, international community, like Europe and America specifically, our allies, these people are categorical, esteemed individuals not wanting to leave their country. So when you go study in Europe and America, they want you to remain there because they know the essence of human capital. This president has placed extraordinary emphasis on human capital. And that's what he said. For those of you who attend a public university, never in your lifetime, never in your lifetime, you should pay any tuition and fees. Fee did not only fall on His Excellency Dr. George Manuel. Fee was erased. All fees were erased. All fees were erased. Public university under this leadership. No president in the history of this country that has transformed the sector compared to His Excellency Dr. George Manuel. So, let me remind you that this policy, this policy is not just a leftless policy. It is not a leftless policy. If you want to, if you want to reflect some of your misgiving. In a little intuition of what a decent policy is. Today, the enrollment rate at the University of Liberia and public university is rising, astronomically increasing. Those things are happening. What happens when you have increase in enrollment rate? For those who start a course for inference and causation, you have to know. You have to know that it has a positive impact on the growth of our country. So we have in the not too long distant future a decent labor market, decent productive capacity. And so those people who will come out of the university to provide leadership in nursing, in engineering, science, chemistry, lawyers, doctors. That is the decency of the country in our lifetime hope the which, and that is why, President, where remains the only hope of the sons and daughters in the slums and the shutting towns of our country. It remains that. And so moving forward, on the 29th of September, Congress and friends, distinguished member of the folk estate, there will be an extra ordinary gallery hmm. on September 29, 2022, 
We will welcome high school students from the diverse high school on the grounds of the Coalition for Democratic Change. So, those high school students, they are not ungrateful. Through their life and their history, they have known, and sometimes they don't, we have told them that we were here paying wax fees, that we were here paying tuition and fees. And so they are grateful. They will come here on the grounds. And me let you know, comrades and friends, comrades and friends, let me let you know that over 24,000 from cross section, the breast high schools, will converge on the grounds of the Indemnitable Coalition of Democratic Chiefs. So, you ask, why are they coming? They are not just coming to appreciate His Excellency, Dr. George Manuia. They are coming to join ranks for the re-election of, of His Excellency, Dr. George Manuia. So, and that day will be closed by an acceptance speech or a remarks being made by a chief educator, a legal luminary. Liberia first, for now, a UNE, vice president, chief, Dr. Swakoko, Joan Howard Taylor. So, that remarks will be made by her on the 20th now of September. And don't forget, make no mistake, she remains the vice standard bearer of the Indemnitable Coalition of Democratic Chiefs. So, and on Friday, the 30th of September 2022, religious leaders, imams, clergymen, there will be a, a massive assembly on the grounds of the Coalition for Democratic Chiefs so, to offer a special prayer. And bless God for giving us, for giving us the face of the revolution. His Excellency, Dr. George Manuel. So, and more than that, comrades. Allemand Combe, Allemand Combe, Allemand Combe, on the 1st of October, on the 1st of October 2022, Liberia on a fundamental revolutionary institution, the foundational grassrootism of the ordinary people's party. The Revolutionary National Youth League of the Indemnitable Matter Coalition for Democratic Change. So, we seize the moment and we parade to the principal street of Monrovia, Beansville. We took our way through Beansville to the great site of His Excellency, President George Mother. We are late, Mother. And we are. The mother of the revolution. The mother who gave us the opportunity to experience better men of our life. If you were to turn back the hands of time, I'm not sure you want to know who, who Imana Johnson was, or Avi Wuse, or Mohammed Bama. But these were people who other things that they were no entity. They have nowhere, any way to contribute to statecraft and governance. Today, excellent leadership, exemplary one. In fact, people are naming their children after Mohammed Bamba because the sources of Mayor Koji today is a reflection of Mohammed Bamba. And so we will be there 
to lay the memorial reefs and return to the headquarters of the Indemnitable Coalition for Democratic Change. So, where gift and the young people have a special gift. No individual, no president in the history of this country has remembered the young people compared to His Excellency Dr. George Manny Williams. So, no president. Oh, in fact, on Ellen Johnson Salif, they say we smell us, we were stink because we have khakis. But this is this is the president that has placed a dignity tack above the head of all young people in this we country. Are we are Small. Amanda, viva, 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 President, we are viva, 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 President, we are viva, viva, forward, 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 October first, forward, 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 October first, forward, forward, Amanda, Aluta, Flowers and friends, furthermore, as Monday of the John section of the Liberia People Democratic Party, the, La the National Patriotic Party, and the Indemnitable Congress for Democratic Change, so, so and concomitant the, the Indemnitable Coalition for Democratic Change, so, so mandates. The additional 14 political subdivision of our country that all chairpersons shall have an event on the 1st of October commemorating, commemorating the birth anniversary of our political leader, which will occur in a simultaneous occasion. So while we're doing it here, it's been happening in Grand Gide, in Lofa, in Nima, in Bon, in Grand Cru, in Sano. Let me remind you, before naming committee members who have history of delivering, let me remind you that it was the young people of this country that elected His Excellency Dr. George Manuia. So, and it will still remain the young people that will re-elect His Excellency Dr. George Manuia. So, and so, before naming the committee, committee members, we are also expected to feed 11,000 senior citizens, and if you may, elderly people. Of the United States, the granny, our granny there, we feed these people with hot meals and will also be recommended to the office of the President, His Excellency Dr. George Manu. We are South. a policy position for a welfare program to be introduced for those vulnerable parents. Looking for the candy or silver. Amanda! Yes. Luther, continue. 
And like we said, commerce of crimes, distinguished member of the Fourth Estate, like we told you, that this country is on the path to an irreversible progressive transformation. So, Honor His Excellency Dr. George Manavia. So, today we are now experiencing an unstoppable and irreversible electricity. <laughs> Nobody complaining now. Don't worry. Don't go off. Stable for all. Stable electricity! You know what that means? You know what that means? You know what that means? Encouraging innovation, storage facility, agriculture draws in, massive productivity. This country will experience an overwhelming transformation under the leadership of His Excellency Dr. George Manawiya. So, so I go I'm I'm it's 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 and let me let you know as well, you know it's good that the press follow information. It is under, under the leadership under the leadership of His Excellency Dr. George Manawiya that we are experiencing a decline in maternal mortality and child mortality. Let me remind you that those things are happening. Because if you have good pay bro, you have easy route to go to the hospital. If you have electricity, the woman will not give breath on the road. She lost her child or she died in the process. So when I say maternal and child mortality, those are the things. But under this leadership, things are happening. And those are things that you need to know. So you should be aware as well. There are massive legal reforms happening in this country. Land rights. But those are proximate causes. When those things affect, they give rise to development. Sure. So things are happening. Under the Ministry of General, there are lots. They are setting their programs for vulnerable parents. A lot happening. A lot, comrades and friends. Under the Ministry of Youth and Sports, 15,000 young people are given employable opportunity. So, on a real life. Under the Community Agricultural Levelhood Program, under the World Bank, about 10,000 young people were given employable opportunity. <clears throat> under the USAID, the government of Liberia has projected the help of assistance that has already begun. Young people are seeking opportunity. 21,000 young people will be employed, will be employed or on the verge of seeking those different opportunities. So lives are being transformed. Our country is on a decent path to recovery. Those things must be said, comrades. Those are things that you need to know. Sure, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Comrades and friends, to those, to those, to those who are in this system, in this government, they are throwing rocks, stones, be warned. To those who are in the system, and I join stones mm. of honor man mm. of betrayal. Be warned. So, so. That the revolutionary national youth league of the indemnity Mumata College of a Democratic Chinese stay around. So stay around. We are coming. Be warned. No time to waste. Soon and very soon you will be identified. Okay. And you will experience the necessary feelings and desire of betrayal. Boy, was it all up? To the young people of our country, of our great party, we call on you all in margin order to support His Excellency Dr. George Manawiya. So, wow. with our hearts and eyes full of hope, we shall over all prevail. He is the only face of the slum child. 
He is the only hope that our people lives on. He is the only decent trajectory that they believe that Allah, that, that Allah came and will be changed. So, oh. mm -hmm. a fresh wind of massive transformation is coming. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The youth didn't go beyond 2023. And that's why we say the people's party. The Labrua Pune Liberation Party. We'll be here. And let those pedestrians and pitiful cannot follow. Mm. And passive on locals. Be aware that the youth league have never gone to bed. The, the only sacred voice have never gone to bed. Mm. We'll be here in your defense. We represent you. And the love has never died. And moving forward. <laughs> We, we are also pleased to appoint the following personality on Vera Committees. Yo, Brady will be on committee, yo, yo. We know in our hearts and our minds that those people that are going to be appointed will deliver. Hmm. And so we appoint the following individual. Hey, boy, a scary family. <laughs> the Revolutionary National Youth League of the Indemnitable Matter Coalition for Democratic Change. So, with overwhelming pleasantry and happiness, we are pleased to appoint. Comrade Compatriot Revolutionary Adiola Runner Pele Pasakwa Master of the Dollar Union. Manga! 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 As Chairman of the President, His Excellency Dr. George Manawia. So, Stary, Stary. 56 Breath. Anniversary celebration, Jamori. A colossal happiness in our left hand. The youth league also appoint Pamita T. Rosler as co chair on that committee. And also, former cadre and Zana Seri as co chair for operation. And as well as former compatriot Hansan Newland, the Secretary General. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, oh, oh. Now, the youth league also appoints former compatriot Dauga Socrati Kalon, the and so moving forward, all 17 district chair president, secretary general, most royal country, and member of the secretariat. Former Compatriot Emmanuel Moba Johnson, Secretary General of the Revolutionary National Youth League is as official. Subcommittee has who student mass assembly committee. Former compatriot revolutionary ideologue Tanu Mauro Bomboli. Mama C. Co-Chair, Fire Yona Secretary General Sandra Somba, member, and Susese member, Jonathan Dagba, member. Academic Challenge Committee. 
Accounts Moses Gray, Chairman, General, 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 I had reached and perplexed the committee. Comrade mm -hmm. compared to a revolutionary ideologue standing soldier, the official mouthpiece of the Revolutionary National Union and the Defense of a Mighty College of a Democratic Chief. So, compared to an RBC, we said, No! Mama C. Kaba Kotia, Aloysius House Secretary General, 113, Memo, Mayango Jala Memo, Ama Brooks Memo, Henry Johnson Memo, Fode Massacre Memo, Charlie Michelle Memo, Akin John, Nimle Memo, Hila Ma Memo, Rachel Kate Memo, Frank Amakwa Memo, Lais S. Lai S. Joe Memo, Prayer, Prayer Committee. The prayers for me. Rabbi Emmanuel Nimlen, Chair. Usman Jalo Co Chair. Rabbi Festa Arabi Lobby Secretary General. Mono Comfort Law Member. Mohammed Jalo Member. Diaspora Committee. Former Confederate William Brown Chair. Samuel Jacob Co Chair. Margaret Tepesin Co Chair Operation. Jerome Sedi Secretary General. Jacob Cope Member. Justino S. Gay member, Elizabeth Tanwell Gray member, Mokon J. Chia member, Samuel Benzim member. Intertainment committee. Video in German. Video in German. Conissimo Banju. Bushu. Conissimo Bushu. On social personality. DJ Wadat. Chia. Ponce Bawe. Co-chair, sports committee, Emmanuel Pelo chair, Mamadi Shari co-chair, Joshua Bado secretary general. Logistic committee, Noah Red chair, Jemama Dixon, Dosin co-chair, Lelia Fofana secretary general, Solomon Blay, memo, Augusta Rachel memo, Jolene Zoga memo, Straya Musu, Asoji member, Austin Wallow member, Josephine W. A. Davis, ex official, the vice chair, for administration of the Revolutionary National Youth League of the Indemnity of Mighty College of a Democratic Chief. So, yeah, you get called by the greatest fear. Committee on hospitality and feeding. The subject for Jolly Jolly. Honorable Marian. Luki, Chia, Bravo, Nimale PS in Co Chair, Tamina Kage, Secretary General, Yaya VCC Memo, Raja Fan Memo, Quality Small Memo. Committee on Logistic and Policy. Committee on Legislative and Policy. So, 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 committee. Committee on Legislative and Policy. Remember now, the welfare program for the elderly people. That program pass the truth. So it will be very clear, categorical. Honorable Tomo B. Fala Chair. Honorable Abu Kamara Co Chair. Honorable Dexin Sibo Secretary General. Honorable Edward Papi from Co Chair Operation. Honorable Abraham Bamuya Conant. Member. Revolutionary Compatriot. Honorable Solomon George. Spoke by the tongue. Ways, ways and means committee. Mm. Committee on ways and means. Resources. <laughs> Augustine M. Monubala, Chairman, Reverend Aski, Co Chair. Thank you ever so much to members, <laughs> distinguished member of the Fourth Estate. It has been a decent honor and an overwhelming pleasure to have you here committee. And the haircut is. Uh, I hope you very well. Oh, yeah. I'm going to cut the change.
Amanda, Amanda, youth lead, this is Miss TV, Thank you so much for watching.